Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to spot scams. Scammers often use various tactics to deceive their victims, making it crucial to recognize the signs of a scam. Here are some key indicators. Unsolicited contact. Be cautious of messages or calls from unknown individuals or entities you have not given permission to contact you. This is a common opening move for scammers. Requests for personal information. Legitimate companies and government agencies rarely ask for personal or financial information via email, text, or phone. If you receive such a request, it is likely a scam. Too good to be true offers. Scammers often lure victims with offers that seem too good to be true, such as winning a prize or receiving an unusually high paying job offer. These offers are typically scams. Sense of urgency. Scammers create a sense of urgency to pressure you into acting quickly without thinking. This can include threats of arrest, fines, or other emergencies. Specific payment methods. Scammers may insist on specific payment methods like gift cards, money orders, or cryptocurrency, which are difficult to trace and offer little consumer protection. Grammar and spelling errors. While not always a definitive sign due to the use of AI, Grammatical and spelling errors in communications can indicate a scam. Keeping it a secret. Scammers may ask you to keep the transaction or situation secret to prevent you from seeking advice from others who might detect the scam. Inspecting links. Be wary of links in emails or messages. Hover over the link without clicking to see the actual URL, which can reveal phishing sites. How to react. Do not click links. Avoid clicking on links in suspicious communications as they may lead to malicious websites. Verify independently. Contact the entity directly through their official website or customer service number to verify the legitimacy of the communication. Report the scam. Report any scam attempts to the appropriate authorities, such as the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, or local law enforcement. Cybersecurity best practices. Use strong passwords. Use unique and strong passwords for each account and enable multi-factor authentication, MFA, whenever possible. Block scam callers. Block numbers that have been identified as scam callers. Keep your digital footprint clean. Be cautious about what you post on social media and delete inactive accounts to make it harder for scammers to gather information about you. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.